Hey, YouTube Lando here. <clears throat> I think this is going to be the third, the third or fourth video <clears throat> in this series. And we're just going to go over a couple of different knife designs that uh, I kind of drew up and cut out. And we haven't got them put in wood yet. We got a couple put in wood, but uh, only two. These, uh, what we're going to go through first is going to be like the kitchen knives. Because <clears throat> I'm going to make a little bit of everything. I'm going to try to make some. Uh, good kitchen knives that I can beat on like you know you're cutting a frozen log of hamburger you gotta beat on that knife a little bit with a hammer so that's what this is gonna be well, the first one I kinda came up with was I wanted to make my own fillet knife and not all of these knives are gonna be made like this one probably won't because of the fact that fillet knives are really thin so they can hold a good edge on it for a long time you don't have to sharpen them often and I don't know that I'll be able to work with such a thin steel and I don't even know what they're really made out of but I wanted a fillet knife I'll probably just go buy one but I wanted one that was a little bit thicker than the commercial ones uh, so it is a little bit more durable and I wanted one that has a a solid tang and blade you know I, I don't most of them you buy are two different pieces and I wanted a solid piece knife so <clears throat> I don't know we may make one we may not if we do that would actually fit on a file so I don't know I don't know if fillet knives are made out of that kind of steel or not or if it's got to be like high carbon uh, stainless or something like that I, I don't know so but we'll find out the second one I came up with is just a little paring knife <clears throat> and I want to be able to cut this handle down and maybe make it into a spike and actually put it into a round handle so something you know that you can hold on to you know but this is going to be the shape we're going to make it and we're definitely going to make this one because it's small enough we can just do it with a little piece of scrap still uh that comes out of another knife or whatever so we're going to make that one and uh and this one we just came up with a like a butcher knife with a little kick out on the handle to grip a little bit my hands are big so you can tell all my handles that i make are going to be big I don't like small handles so but this is going to be uh, just a butcher knife uh, so again something I can beat on the back of if I want to you know it's got to be heavy duty my kitchen uh, kitchen knives maybe you know skinning a buck one day or and cutting a fillet the next so you never really know with me uh, another thing I wanted was a meat cleaver and I kicked it out just like the butcher knife to where it'll stick out the bottom of my hand you know have a good little uh, resistance there to keep it from flying out of my hand and then instead of you know doing the curved top I just kinda cut it off like that and I think that looks pretty cool and it's not completely straight it's got a little bit of gap to it so it'll have an edge up here and then the edge will come down right here and it'll follow a straight line and then follow a straight line and you'll have a little bevel right here it'll be neat <clears throat> once it's done it, it, and we're definitely going to make this one as well and I think we're going to have to actually order a piece of metal to make it out of so we may end up spending a little money to do this one it may be a while the kitchen knives are going to be the last set we do we're not going to do those anytime soon it's just some, like I said some different designs we came up with uh, now these next two I kind of came up with uh, for my kids, kind of like little, uh, they like zombies and shit, so I made them some little zombie killers, and I don't know what the hell we'd make them out of besides maybe some lawnmower blades, uh, take a couple lawnmower blades, and but we would have to have a forge to do that, so these probably won't get made anytime soon either, but uh, and I put a little spike at the bottom of it so he has some defense to the back of him when the zombies are biting his, uh, going for his shoulder. Kind of put a little curve in the handle there for him. And I just kind of hand drew these and then kind of like wrapped my hand on them and seeing if it was at all comfortable and cutting it out from there. You know, if I wanted to add a little material, I'd have to start over, but I could take away material just to see how much the thickness is going to be, you know, roughly. And when we cut it out of the wood, we'll get a better idea of it. Not really the handles so much, though, because we're going to add handles to them later out of uh, different materials. 
and this is going to be the youngest sons, and we're going to call it, uh, I don't know, well, we're going to name all of them eventually if, after we get some made, uh, but I was thinking like the boomerang, but this is going to be his zombie whacker, and it's just a machete, uh, I went with the same handle, kind of, uh, I went a little fatter on this one, you can tell, I can never draw the same thing twice which is why I'm making these templates. There you go. That's the word I was looking for in the last video, templates. There you go. So, I can never draw the same thing twice, so that's why I made these. Uh, and these next two, I've done did a video on, but I'll just go ahead and show them, and I've got these cut out of wood now. The wooden templates. So, <laughs> we got that one cut out, and then uh, I came up with a smaller version to... Uh, be like a necklace, like a neck hanger. And just put a piece of string through it or something. We're going to probably make the handle just a little bit bigger on the end. I just wanted like a little necklace uh, box cutter type bill. You know, something that would work uh, for bushcraft if you needed it. But it's going to be just more or less a small one. I don't know that we'll make this one because we're definitely gonna make this one I've done got the wooden template cut and I just got to get a slug from him I think we're gonna make it out of Damascus he's got a piece of a uh, jelly rolled Damascus that he made and uh, it's real pretty looking so I think we'll make a knife out of it and then acid edge it and see what it comes out like uh, the last one's gonna be my kinda like my bushcraft knife I guess it's gonna be uh, kind of a machete slash knife and it's off of a Bowie design that you know I just looked at a Bowie knife and online and kind of seen how they were designed and I liked it so we came up with it and again the bottom will be like a uh, antler or something uh, elk antler or something we got different kinds of antlers so we'll go through and we'll find a piece in there that I like and then we'll drill it out and we'll cut this down to fit into it and kind of stab it down in there and like I said you just put masking tape around the top make it kind of thick and just make a ring around it and uh, put it on the handle you know and wrap it around the handle and leave it like a cup right here and then you just pour your material in there and it goes into the handle and seals this into the handle and then makes you a nice little ring around it now I know with a Bowie knife it's supposed to have the big uh, Dilios that come off the side. We're not going to have those because I don't know how to make them and I want a one piece knife more or less. I want the, you know, I don't want another piece here. So it may be ugly, but it's going to be uh, functional. And then we probably, we'll probably do a saw back on the back of it and uh, try to actually make it functional somehow. I don't know how to cut a saw, so that'll be some, uh, we'll probably go through two or three of these before we get it right. But we're gonna that's all the designs I've came up with so far and like I said a few of them will be made you know probably the kids will be the last <laughs> the last ones to be done if I do them and like this one would take a special piece of metal because it's so so big man so I don't know but the little ones we're definitely gonna do we're gonna do this one and then if nothing else I'll just make my kids each a couple of these or something a couple of skin and knives or something simple and, and they'll be happy with that they're good kids easy to please so thanks for watching YouTube oh